WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart is live in New Richmond with more on what people can expect today. Exciting times out there in New Richmond. Yeah, Kristen, it's really exciting. The people here are ready to celebrate the final day of Pride here in New Richmond. It's also the first one ever in Claremont County. And joining me now is the vice president of New Richmond's Pride, Jesse Lux. Jesse, what does it mean to you to see this whole event come together? Oh, my gosh, it it means just so much. It's just, you know, I like, honest to God, like I was not expecting this to actually come together like it did, but I am just totally blown away. To me, you know, it means it's not necessarily, you know, change or progress because I don't think we're really changing anything about the town. But I feel like, you know, we're reaching in and highlighting the great parts of this town. You know, it's like there is so much love and community here. And, you know, with the small town stigmas and stuff and like I just feel like we're finally breaking those down and really seeing like how much love and community is actually here. So to me, it just means that we can kind of show the rest of, you know, Ohio and the cities like us that we are like, you know, open and, you know, progressive and actually, you know, love our community and want to support every part of it. What has touched you the most this weekend? Oh Lord, are you trying? Are you trying to make me cry? Cause like, <laughs> I'm not trying to. I promise. Okay, so there's honestly there's a couple things. The one, whew, the one that gets me the most is, I see the older couple couples that have been here for years. You know, they've been here for there's like you know two like two husbands that literally, they have been married for like thirty something years and they literally live like around here and you know they just came to us and were like holy crap like thank you like this is amazing like we never would have expected this to happen and it just to see older like lgbtq people come here and and tell us how like happy and thankful they are and excited it just oh gosh it, it gets me really good so and then the other thing is you know people coming up to us and being like holy crap, like, I lived in Claremont County, I lived in New Richmond, I lived, you know, nearby, and I never expected something like this to happen, like, thank you, and that stuff, oh, gosh, that, you know, between, like, the youth and, you know, the older, like, folks being so excited about it, it just, oh, that, 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 I think that's the one that gets me in the messages we received. We received so many messages and positive things last night on the group pages and around here, and, I swear, I feel, I feel like I've cried so much this week. Like, my, my contacts are stuck to my eye, basically, like at this point. <laughs> I don't see any tears yet, so you're doing I'm, great. I'm right out. I'm like, I'm all out. I'm, I'm dehydrated now. Awesome. Well, thank you for talking about this this morning, Jesse. And again, this is the last Pride event today for New Richmond. So if you want to come out, you still have a little bit of time. I'm live in New Richmond, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News.